Structural steel white flange shape with the modulus of elasticity of 240 gigapascal and the moment of inertia of 49.1 times 10 to the 6 millimeter to the 4th is loaded and supported as shown in the figure. A uniformly distributed load of 16 newton meter is applied to the beam which causes the beam to move downward and touch the support at B. There is a gap of 8 mm between the beam and the support. Before applying the load, the gap is 8 mm and after applying the load we assume that the beam will be in touch with that support. The problem looks for how much is the reaction of that ruler at point B. Before solving that problem, let me write down the product of EI because this is a parameter that we will use later on for the solution of this problem. E is 240 gigapascal, which is equal to 240,000 megapascal, and I is 49.1 times 10 to the sixth. And I can write it down like this 11,784 times 10 to the ninth newton millimeter squared, or because all other units are in kilonewton and meter, it's better to convert that into kilonewton meter squared. And that would be equal to 11,784 kN meter squared. All right, now let's solve the problem. For solving the problem, again, we need to release that reaction at B and replace it with an unknown reaction force, which is By in this case. Then we need to determine how much is the deflection of this beam at the released point, at point B. We consider two beams here. The first beam is the beam subjected to the distributed load and the second beam is the beam subjected to that reaction force or By. Then we need to determine how much is the deflection of the beam at point B in beam number one and similar to that in beam number two then apply the compatibility condition. As I said the compatibility condition here would be different from the one that we had before because we need to take care of that gap. All right, we will talk about that a bit later. First, let me determine how much is the value of deflection in each of these two beams. In beam number one, which is the beam subjected to a distributed load, so we need to get to the table and use this figure. Note that here we are not looking for the maximum deflection, but we need to determine deflection at point B, which is not in the middle of that beam. So I will use elastic curve equation and the deformation of this beam as a function of x is wx divided by 24ei times l cubed minus 2lx squared plus x cubed. All right? Now we need to put the parameters. w is 16 kilonewton over meter. x is distance of point b to the left support which in this case is 4 meter and EI is 11 times 11,784 kilonewton meter squared. L is the length of the entire beam which is 10 meter and I plug the values of L and X in the, in the remaining part of that equation and that gives me delta B1 equal to 0 0.1684 meter. So that is deflection in beam number one because of the given load. Similar to that, we determine how much is deflection in the second beam, in beam number two. In that case, we get back to table, and this is the figure that we need to use for determining the deflection. The value of deflection at point x would be equal to PBx over 6LEI times L squared minus B squared minus X squared. All right? Or... We can use this equation, which gives us the value of deflection right at the point where the load is acting on, which is PA squared B squared divided by 3LEI. All right, the second form of the equation is easier, and I will pick it up. Now let's plug the values into this equation. P is an unknown force, which we called it BY. A is distance of point B to support A, which is 4 meter. B is distance of point B to the right of that beam, which is 6 meter, and I divide that by 3 L EI, 
and that gives us by divided by 613.8 so this is deflection in the second beam at point B all right now we write down the compatibility of deformation pay attention carefully can I say in this figure delta B1 minus delta B2 is zero no we can't say it is zero because there is a gap here so the compatibility condition in this case would be delta B1 minus delta B2 is equal to that gap which is 8 millimeter I subtracted delta B1 from delta B2 because one of them is going downward another one is going upward and I set the difference equal to that gap all right let's write it down here delta B1 minus delta B2 is equal to that gap delta B1 is 0.1684 meter delta B2 is P by over 613.8 and that would be equal to the gap which is 8 millimeter note that I need to convert that into meter because all other parameters are in kilonewton and meter and if I solve it for the reaction force at that point either if I call it P or BY that would be equal to 108.3 kilonewton and that would be the final answer of this problem the point about this problem is making the compatibility of deformations here because there is a gap we can't say the overall deformation in that point is zero but the overall deformation in that point at the support should be equal to that gap. This is the way that we can deal with the gap in, in the terminate beams.